There are ways to enhance flavors of a recipe besides adding additional seasonings. Again, the goal is to build flavors during the cooking process. First, think about the flavor you're looking for in the finished item once it's ready for service. Then, look for steps in the recipe where you may be able to add layers of flavor that complement each other. This can be done without straying too far from the original recipe, using small amounts of flavor-enhancing ingredients, or cooking methods like sweating and browning. You really can make dishes more flavorful without tossing in the familiar extra pinch of salt. Just like seasonings and spices, additional ingredients can be used to add flavor. A good example is mirepoix. This is a combination of carrots, celery, and onions that are cooked together to extract their flavor in a small amount of oil, butter, or margarine. They can either be left in the pan, removed, or pureed. Mirepoix can be cut into small dice or large dice, depending on the cooking situation. Mirepoix can be added to a roasting pan during the last hour of cooking to enhance the flavors of the drippings. The drippings are usually strained to remove the mirepoix. Braising often uses mirepoix to add additional flavor to the cooking sauce. Marinating meats and poultry can add additional flavor before they are cooked. Marinades can be liquids or dry rubs made of seasonings. The main ingredient is put in a steam table pan and marinade is poured over to cover the surface. Cover with plastic wrap and return to the refrigerator for several hours. The flavors are absorbed by the main item. The marinade is then poured off. A marinade should complement the flavors of the ingredients used in the recipe. Juices and sauces, oils and stocks can add flavor and may be used as a substitute for an ingredient. Instead of cooking rice in water, try using chicken stock. Substituting oil that has additional flavors like olive oil or sesame oil can build another layer to the flavor profile of a dish. How you cook an ingredient can also enhance the flavor of the item. Sweating, browning, and caramelizing each bring out added flavors to the ingredients. Sweating can mellow out the flavors of a strong onion. Caramelizing those onions can bring out the natural sugars and creates an extra flavor dimension. The idea is to work from the foundation of flavor found in the recipe's ingredients and build additional layers of flavor with the seasonings. Browning of meats is a great way to get extra flavor into a dish. Sautés, stir-fries, and stews benefit from starting with high heat to brown the outer surface of the meat or poultry. It can also create a layer of flavor in the pan, called a fond, that can be loosened with liquid and saved for gravy or sauces. Roasting and baking creates a similar browning effect in both savory items and baked goods. When you roast vegetables, you bring out the natural sugars that caramelize on the surface and add a sweet yet complex flavor. Baking the top of a cherry crisp to a golden brown adds another flavor dimension to the finished dish. Roasting peppers adds a smoky flavor and can be done in the oven or on the stove. Same peppers with much more flavor. Remember, these added flavors need to complement each other, not overpower the final flavor you're looking for. Toasting flour, seeds, and nuts can also bring out additional flavors in the ingredients. As with any high heat method, be careful not to burn the ingredient or it will be unusable. The flavor of a burnt item usually takes over, masking all the other flavors you worked so hard to create. To our students, Mealtime is all about flavor, and building flavors a layer at a time is the way to go.